Thanks for tuning into Africa Sportsman Show once again. I'm standing here with Ruan van Greening, owner of Hartsville Hunting Safaris. We're hunting here on their property between Swaizerenike and, and Freiburg. Um, we are looking for waterbuck, <laughs> not limited to waterbuck, but not we're, looking, yet. Not yet. we're looking for, for a nice waterbuck bull. So uh, we arrived early, early this morning, um, greeted by this wonderful rains. We had a dry year in, 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 the, in the southern part of Africa this year. So uh, very grateful for the rains. The afternoon gave us a gap. So we're out in the field, a bit windy and a bit chilly. But we're onto this, onto this cop here. And Ruan, just explain to us, we saw some water buck at the back. What's the plan from here? Yeah, we'll see we just spotted three water buck bulls at the back there. Um, they're in a little open area. So uh, the wind is a little bit difficult for us. So I think we'll go around, uh, just get under the wind and put a stalk on them. And maybe, hopefully we can get a shot. From uh, here, it's about, what, seven, 800 meters? It's about meters. 700 meters from here. Um, so we'll go around with all the range and everything. It is a bit thick. So hopefully we get, we get enough brush and we can stalk up to them and get a good bull. Yeah. Let's go for it. Perfect. Thank All you, right. my friend. Appreciate it. About a 500 meter slippery stalk down this road. And that green open patch we saw from the top lying in front of us. The wind is perfect. It's coming straight from that hill we stood on. The water buck about 400 meters in this direction. So we're just heading down, straight downwind. We're going to come up around from the back, um, looking over that open patch and see how, how close we can get to them. I think the wind will still be okay. Oh, I don't know, that's right, because I'm scared of these two balls on the right. Yeah. We're gonna go through here, we're gonna go back a little bit. Is that the plan? If the, if the horns get white at the base, does it mean it gets older or not really? No, if, um, you can see his horns are more yellow. Yeah. Um, if you look to the, on the right, you can see the base. 
faces are white, white, white. Okay. It's like your skin white. And then, then it's a, uh, then it's a young bull. But if you, like our bull, the one we want to shoot, is yellow. Because okay. You don't want to so it's getting darker the whole time. Yeah. Just lay down. It looked like a good shot. Yeah, the good shot felt good. Yeah, you shot him, I think. You shot him right behind the shoulder because you broke the opposite leg. Yeah. Just give him some time and then we'll walk up. Like, but it looked like a very nice shot. Now he's trying to get up. Yeah, I see him now. There he went down. He's good down. And he doesn't feel very well. <sighs> give him five minutes and so we'll go up. walk closer. Like a good shot. Good shot, my friend. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Maybe a low, little bit low, but um, definitely looked like the one leg was broken. Yeah, Other yeah. bulls are still standing close to him, They're about 200, 250 meters mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. So we waited about five to seven minutes. We're just going to approach slowly, and if he gets up, I'd rather be safe than sorry and, and just take a follow up shot. So uh, we'll, we'll be ready. He won't go far, we'll get him. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank you, Ruan. Thanks, man. He really is a beautiful Yeah. So, Stefan. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful waterbuck bull, my friend. Congratulations. Yes, Ruan, thanks so much, eh? Well, Mr. Stefan, it's your fir first official hunt here with Archie Hunting Safaris. Uh, this morning we were delayed with a little bit of rain, so we had to stay in camp until about 11. And uh, we, we came out and Luckily, the first hill we came on upon, we saw about an 800 meters. We saw three, or four waterbuck bulls. We were we were just about to leave, and you said you you spotted them. Yeah, we were just right. about to leave for to go to another hill and or to go spot and spot for some more. And uh, I saw this this beautiful bull, and we both agreed that he was a beautiful bull to go after. And we had to walk through a bit of water, <laughs> go go around to get the wind in our favor. And uh, you made a. A very very good shot and on on 180 meters with a 450. I mean it's a very far shot for a big gun. It's a beautiful bull. It's just an amazing animal. Uh, I'm I'm very happy that everything worked out. I want to thank you guys for coming out for two archery hunting safaris, and I look forward to a very good relationship with you guys. No, for sure, Ron, and uh, uh, thanks a lot for you and your your wonderful team here. Um, you have a wonderful facility. It's not the first time I'm here, but it's the first time. First time uh, hunting, I'm privileged yeah. <laughs> uh, carrying a rifle in the field here. You have, you have an awesome property. I mean, uh, the variety of animals here and, and the sheer size of it. I think you said something like 20,000 acres. 20,000 uh, acres, yes. Yeah. It's just unbelievable to see the vast amount of game here. And, 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 and yeah, to experience it like this, I mean, a couple of months ago it was bone dry. Every, everybody was worried about the season ahead and now just look gonna, at it. How are we going to make it through the winter and then we were blessed with a lot of rain. No, and for sure. So we're gonna, animals are beautiful. We're going to celebrate that and we're going to celebrate this magnificent bull. And thank you so much for thank having you, me. Thank you, Stefan. I appreciate it so much. Thanks, Ron.